If I build a catwalk, then animals and things are going to spawn and get on it, and then that defeats the purpose of having the wall. I don't mind having to run and jump and doing this. This is fine. Maybe there was a cat messing with it before. Because nothing's messing it up now. Oh, MK, did you see this? We have a Strider here now. Usually working, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a cat. It's a very stretched and, and smushed cat. You're the cat, sorry? Oh, okay. I don't believe you. Did I get the Strider goal? Yeah. We got it all. They're just now a permanent resident in the world now. Which can be named for 10 subs. If you guys want to give 10 subs, you can be a Strider in our world. Easy peasy. We got goals, chat. We got goals. And then up here is Eevee. This is how long a water elevator can be usually working, in case you're wondering. This water elevator is 256 blocks tall. It goes all the way to the top of the build limit of the world, where you can't build anything else. All the way to the tippy top, right here. And we have Eevee! They have treats. I can buy some redstone from them. And they have armor. And they got a bed. But why? Because we needed an achievement. This one right here. Trade with a villager at the building height limit. There's really no easy way to get them back down. So we're just going to leave them there. Will you hear the zombies and stuff? Ooh. This is the original mob farmer right here. This is where we first got our levels and our experience. They drop all kinds of stuff. Let's take the sword and go, Hiya! All right, um, advancements. Let's go build a, um, a beacon. Because all we got to do is build it and take it right back down again. So we're going to need blocks of iron. Oops. Excuse me. Which I have a crafting table here just for that. That's a hundred. Oh, you know what? It's going to be really hard to build in the nether. Have you jumped from the top of the world to the bottom of the world? Yep. We got that done before. Right here. If you find any amethyst, you can make the spyglass. Already got it done. Right here. Already got it. All right. Um, that's what I wanted to find out was how to make a lodestone. Chiseled stone bricks and a netherite ingot. All right. Chiseled stone bricks. Lodestone. You know you could put in your right hand. Put what in my right hand? And then you take your right hand out. And then you put it right back in. You shake it all about. Is that what you're going on about? You're trying to do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around? Because that's what it's all about.
Yes? Yeah? Okay, I gotcha. You weirdo. Hey. Hey. Wanna fight? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get the hell out of here! Whee! Okay. Uh, eat some food. Alright, we're gonna go dig up to the top. I need a cup here, please. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Well, that was easy. But is that the top? I'm looking at 126. That's not the top. So I gotta find 128. Right there. That is 127. That's the top of the world. Okay, so right there. Oh man, how am I supposed to do this? Let's do that to mark it. Um, what do you do at the top of the nether? I gotta put a beacon up. Gots to have a beacon. For an advancement that we're doing. Alright, so we gotta stand right there. That doesn't make any sense at all. How is that right in the middle? What? No F3. Crosshairs only. Oh, here we go. Okay, so right there where the top of our beacon is going to be. Bacon? Yeah, bacon. Didn't know you could make a beacon in the nether. Does it have to be at the top? It has... So, in order for you to have a make a beacon, MK, it has to have clear sight of the sky. Well, there's no sky in the nether so it has to have clear view of the top of the bedrock which is 128 which is the maximum height of the world so we had to find where 127 was that way we can build the beacon That one's fine. She's gone to Best Buy after work. Oh. Please hold. Rose just turned to pure ice. Oh, yeah. Yep. Be careful out there, dude.
All right, beacon. Um, the beacon beam passes through blocks as long as they're clear of the netherrack above when you plan to have your... Wait, what? The beacon beam passes through blocks, so as long as you clear the netherrack above where you plan to have the beacon, you're fine. Okay, but you can't guarantee that the netherrack is clear above, like, 125. So as long as you're pointing at 127, you're fine. Hi, Lai. Welcome in. Is it Lai or Lay? I keep forgetting. It's Lay, isn't it? You haven't been here in a while, okay? It's Lay. How have you been? Happy New Year. I was like, damn, I'm going to get their name wrong, aren't I? All right, this should point all the way through, and then we can put uh, a thing in it. Is another like totally separate world, like the game wise or underground as far? This is hell. Totally separate world. Now the neat thing about it though is, is that it, it is exactly one eighth of the overworld size. So you can use it to travel. Um, I would like just regeneration. Maybe speed. And there we go. Now, how come that didn't give me... Why didn't that give me any credit? On the thing. Edmund, how you doing, buddy? How... Now I'll speed my netherrack like a boss. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get the advancement. Construct and place a beacon. Did I just do that? Bye, Lay. Have a good night. Hello? I just constructed a beacon. Am I supposed to do it in the... Am I supposed to do it in the overworld, maybe? I mean, I don't mind doing it in the overworld. So then why is it under the nether advancements, is what I'm confused about. It's a nether advancement. Does that not matter? Ouch. So dimension, so it does not exist in the overworld. However, it's still internally dimensionally connected. Yeah. Yeah, MK, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Hold on, let's make some more iron blocks. We'll figure it out. I'll build the damn thing here, I don't care. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Okay. 
Place beacon first before completing the pyramid. Okay. Was your beacon not lighting up? It was lighting up. Did you not? Are you not paying attention to the stream, Fox Lion? Didn't get the advancement? No, I didn't. All right, there we go. Hey, we did it. I guess. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I did a thing for the second time. <laughs> All right, I can run around. We speed. Speed. All right, I got the beacon. <clears throat> what are all these advancements good for? What are, what are any achievements work uh, good for, Blazing? Big old pat on the back, my friend. It refueled everything. Whoa! It refueled everything. See when it doesn't hang up or break. It actually does really good. Sweet. All right, I'll take it. Here, smelt these while you're at it. Fun is about games is accomplishment. Well, I mean, that's one thing people look for in a hardcore run is if you've done all the advancements or not. So it just gives us something to do. Plus, in doing those advancements, you find other things that you got to do, too. All right, I'm going to do something really, really cheeky. Where's my compass? All right, where's spawn? Spawn is right here. All right, lodestone. There. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, you're locked to spawn! Ha 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 ha! Does Nether Brick have any special characteristics? Nope. It does not. It's literally just a cool looking brick. See, look. Hey, look, it's cool looking. And one thing one thing you can do usually working is you can combine it with Nether Wart. And you can make... Um... Hold on, why can't I get red Nether Brick? Oh, I need actual bricks. Oh. So if I do red nether wart, I can do red nether bricks. What does a lodestone and a compass do? So a compass normally points to spawn. A compass normally points to where spawn is. But if you want it to point somewhere else, you put a lodestone down, you right click on it, it'll always click it'll always point to that. So if you make a home somewhere else, the compass will point to the lodestone. That's what it's for, but it's for an advancement. I did it for an advancement. You get it now? So now that compass is always pointing at it. So if I need to find my way home, I can just go there. It's kind of neat if you don't have a map. You don't have a map in this game. You can make a map, but making maps are lame. 
How do I make a map again? I need a compass and paper? Gross. I need all of that? Wow. Um, that's kind of expensive. Here, let's make one, I guess. Maps are fun, I guess. But all I have is 11 paper. One second. See right here, usually working. I can take a map piece. And I can make a map of this area. See? Hi, Terra Cap. Welcome in. How are you? So now I have a map. Then I can take another map piece. And I can make a map of this area. Now I have two maps. I have this and this. And so now what, what one can do if you really, really wanted to is you can get item frames. Let me make another one real quick. Hold on. Uh, item frames, sticks, sticks, item frames. And you could take item frames and put them like over here, for example. And then you could take your map and you can put your map there. And there you go. And there's your area. Yeah, you can have a map of your base. And there you go. So now you can see the iron farms and the villager farms and you can see the, the mob spawner and yeah. Now wasn't that fun? No, it wasn't. <laughs> So yeah, you can you can do that too if you wanted to. Usually working. It's actually really cool. There's people that make like entire map rooms and stuff, man. If you wanted to. Does it work by chunks? Yeah. How big can you make the map? As big as you wanted to. So like each one of these is chunks. So like 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 usually working said. Well, I mean not really. I mean, maybe it's more than one chunk. It's more than one chunk. It's it's quite a few chunks in one. But it just kind of gives you an area. So like if I went back here, hold on, let me grab some more map pages real fast. Where did I put them? Like if I went over here and I uh, did this, and I've got that. And I can come over here and get this one. And now I've got that. So I can go back up here, grab the two item frames, put two item frames here and here. And then I've got this and that. And there's spawn. You can see the super smelter, the bamboo farm, the tree farm. Uh, over here is the the mountain that we cut back. The, we cut back that mountain too. You can see the iron farms there, and there's there's all of spawn. And you can keep adding to it for sure. So this this page, see how that page is missing some? See how it looks like that? I would have to go and explore that corner for the map to get written. So like if I go this way, I had to go north and west. See how I went out there and, and colored the rest of it in? So now it has the rest of the map on it. So then I can come over here and pop it back in and it has that corner explored. And there you go. Cool, right? How you doing, Mega? Welcome in. You can also rotate the map if you wanted to also, but we didn't. We don't do that. Hi, Mega. What's up? Guys, welcome in. Guys, welcome. My name's Tarandro. We're playing some hardcore. 
Uh, you caught us at a really, really bad time because we're about ready to close up shop and call it a day. Could you say this is a cartography class? No, because teachers usually have a zest and, a, and, and are excited to teach something. I really don't care. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, sure, if you want this to be a lesson, it was a lesson. How was the stream? Stream was great. Uh, we did a lot of stuff. We, uh, we, we were doing some advancements today. We got done with, um, we got a, we built a spyglass. We got the spyglass advancements. Then we went and found a, um, an igloo and turned the zombie back to a regular person. We walked on some powdered snow. Then we levitated and did some honey stuff, and then we just built a beacon, and now we're here. Just kind of doing our thing. Uh, we brought a strider in here and walked him across the lava. Now he's permanent resident. We've got some, uh, we we're just going over the farms and whatnot. The man be grinding. We got unlimited vegetables. We've got unlimited fuel in our smelter. We've got um, unlimited iron with our four iron farms, unlimited villagers. A new pet? Sure. Let me go check and make sure that thing didn't break. Armorless? Yeah, screw that. Traded the top of the world. Yeah, I traded at the top of the world. Which is that piece right there. Did, did, did the lodestone thing? Did the... um. With shaders at least... Usually working, you poor, poor soul. One day you'll learn that regular graphics is okay. There's nothing wrong with it, buddy. Did you do the cat achievement? I don't know what the cat achievement is. All right, Mega, have a good night, dude. Thanks for coming by. What is what is the cat achievement? It was something meow, tame every type of cat. I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, tame all cat variants. There you go. A complete catalog. You yeah, know, we haven't started that yet. Make the text of a sign glow, catch a fish. <clears throat> yeah, we got to do some other stuff. But it was it was fun. We got all the we got these advancements done. The, the Minecraft ones. Cool. Catastrophe. Your face is a catastrophe. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. Guys, I'm done for tonight. Thank you for watching. Hi. If you're new to the stream, what's up? My name's Taradra. It's good to see you guys. I stream five days a week. Tomorrow's my Friday. I'm excited. Um... If you haven't already, hit that follow button. It's free. We'd love to have you guys a part of what we do here. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. If you want to reach me offline, we got socials here. We got Discord, YouTube, and Twitter. Those are free ways to uh, support the stream. You don't have to ever spend a dime here as long as you just help us continue doing what we're doing.